so uh, now to calculate the mean deviation uh, from median of continuous group data we'll uh, we uh, just we'll just revise the uh, method to calculate the median for uh, this continuous group data we'll see to it through an example here so let this be the data this particular thing will be the data so uh, to calculate the median we'll uh, construct this particular table in which we write class here frequency here and then we have the cumulative frequencies here so cumulative frequency as you might recall is the frequency of that particular interval plus the intervals above it so we'll have 6 here uh, 13 then we'll add on 15 so obtain 28 here then we'll have 16 to 28 to obtain 44 plus 4 48 plus 250 so basically we have cumulative frequencies here so to calculate median what we do is basically median is equal to L plus N by 2 minus C upon F into H so uh, as you might recall the, uh, these basic this is the formula for calculating uh, the median of this particular data type data so um, basically we have the L as the lower limit of the interval which contains or is uh, having a frequency just greater than n by 2 so basically n by 2 is 25 so this particular interval as you see this particular interval has uh, the cumulative frequency just greater than uh, n by 2 that is 25 so basically we have L as the lower limit of this interval so we will have L equals to 20 here C is the cumulative frequency of this interval which is 28 F is the frequency of this interval which is 15 and H is the range of this particular interval that is 10 so we have uh, after plugging in these values we will have 20 plus n by 2 which is 25 minus C minus 3 upon 15 into H that is 10 so basically we will have the median as 18 median will be 18 median is equal to 18 here so after we have got median the uh, rest of the steps are similar to that uh, as we have uh, done in the class in the case of uh, mean we'll calculate mod xi minus median which is this and we'll calculate uh, fi into mod xi minus median and sum it up so we'll have basically mean deviation equals to sigma fi mod xi minus median as 508 upon sigma fi which is equal to 50 so uh, the answer would come out to be 101.6 here take a look at this data this data isn't uh, continuous we have 0 to 10 and the next interval is from 11 to 20 the third interval is from 21 to 30 and so on so basically this particular interval is not continuous so to have data as continuous as we are um, comfortable with calculating the mean of uh, or the median of the continuous data we will convert this particular data into the into a continuous data by simply subtracting and adding the difference of the lower limit of the upper interval uh, we will we'll just say to make this evenly um, we will subtract off 0.5 from the lower limit and add 0.5 to the upper limit that is we will have the intervals as starting from minus 0.5 to 10.5 the next interval will be 10.5 to 20.5 and so on so after we have uh, uh, converted this particular data this continuous data into continuous data we can easily calculate its median without actually affecting the values so after we have uh, discussed the mean deviation we will move on to the next measure of stand, uh, me uh, next measure of dispersion that is variance and standard deviation so uh, let's see what, how to calculate standard deviation by looking through an example so uh, as you might recall these particular these four columns are as uh, are similar to the ones we had in our the, in our uh, in our case of uh, calculating the mean deviation only the next part changes so uh, let me give the formula for standard deviation so we'll have variance is equal to sigma fi into x minus xi square upon sigma fi 
this is the uh, standard deviation and positive root of this that is sigma will be the standard deviation so basically uh, to calculate this particular uh, equation what we need is x minus x i square instead of mod x minus x i. So we will uh, calculate this mod x minus x i square by, by x using x minus x i square and then multiplying it with f i to obtain sigma f i uh, into x minus x i square upon sigma f i equals to 1374 upon 30 in this particular case. So we basically have the uh, sigma square or the variance equals to 45.8 and the standard deviation will be equals to root 45.8 which is equal to so uh, basically this is xi minus x will uh, uh, will be 4 minus 14 we'll have minus 10 and uh, simply working out we'll get uh, the standard deviation also which will come out to be 6.77 there is another thing which I need to mention here is that well, what we are basically calculating is 1 by n sigma fi into x minus xi square there is uh, one simpler method or a shortcut method which uh, I must tell you here so which says that to uh, that this particular expression is equal to sigma fi xi square minus x bar square so to prove this formula what uh, we need is just the expansion of this particular term which gives us x square minus xi square minus 2 x xi and multiplying individual term with fi fi here fi here and dividing by n we have uh, the first term as it is there is sigma fi x square that is we have um, x bar square x bar square here so this this will basically be uh, this this x i x x bar square is common and uh, as you know n is equal to sigma f i will this will cancel out the second term here is sigma f i x i square upon n which is same as this one and the third term is sigma x bar sigma fi xi upon n which this particular expression will is equal to x bar so we basically have sigma fi xi square upon n minus x bar square sorry plus x bar square minus 2 x bar square so basically we will derive at this particular formula